How's it going guys? I wanted to do a first impressions on Sylvanas Windrunner, the newest leader, Undead, to join us in Warcraft Rumble. And I gotta say, I kinda got mixed emotions. I feel like there might be a giant skill issue that I currently have with this character. So let's talk about what she brings and what kind of army we should surround her with. So when you go into her traits, we can go ahead and see that she's got Black Arrow piercing through enemies in a line, dealing elemental damage. So AoE, great against squads, great against like a Tyrion deck, things like that. Banshees, Whales, what I currently have equipped, Scream on Death, stunning nearby enemies for three seconds. So if she gets surrounded, she'll stun everybody, which is great. The Banshee will actually get on get onto somebody because I'm having a hard time getting that Banshee to get onto people. And, and you can get a nice turnaround to the battle that way. And then Forsaken Fury, nearby horde and undead minis gain fury. I thought this in conjunction with the leader ability, which we're going to talk about, would be great, but had such a hard time getting these type of situations to mesh, which we're going to talk about. Personally, I think Black Arrow might be the best, and it's the only one I don't have. I have to wait till I get her to Epic now, which is probably going to be months and months from now. Uh, but yeah, I think Black Arrow is going to be the best for her because she's kind of she's a solo unit almost with six, even though she has so much synergy based in her kit. We'll talk about it. Uh, but the fact that it'll help her take out squads, especially like Whelplings, is great, so she doesn't get stuck there for seven seconds trying to take them out. All right, her leader ability, all undead and horde minis, gaining 30% movement speed near Sylvanas. I thought this would be amazing. I was like, oh, we're going to make a great army. She's going to go super quick. We're going to get there. No, because she doesn't get this. So she is still walking at a medium speed. She kind of just has an aura around her that helps people get ahead of her. So they'll get ahead of her. Then there'll be this, like, zone between them and her where they'll just always stay ahead of because they're going to also have medium speed. It's nice because it puts her in the back line, kind of protects her from forward assaults. But she's also so squishy that she just gets destroyed by a safe pilot, by whelplings that spawn on top of her with the exploding feature, by a quail boar, right? So she definitely has a squishy issue, and when she removes her allies from her vicinity, uh, it can be used against her, unfortunately. Um, I really wanted to make like a Tyrion-esque army, but for the undead side, that would just be like this powerhouse. Not, not healing, not tanky, but just like super squishy, Go get them. Maybe a couple horde characters in there, right? Like the stone hoof Torin, charging people, kind of engaging. Uh, this didn't really play out the way I wanted to. I also thought maybe Warsong Raider beside her, zoomy zoomy all the way to the tower, bang bang bang. Uh, didn't work out quite that well. A couple of things that she does have going for her is her attack speed. She lets off those arrows real quick. Good damage. So she got good DPS. Her range is okay. It's eight point five. I wish it was nine at least to match that dark spear troll. Nothing worse than your six gold character getting beat by a three star uh, dark spear troll. And she's super squishy. Yeah, so you get one shot. Uh, and that is my big problem with Sylvanas Windrunner is that six gold cost. I get it because she's got a banshee inside of her that normally the base banshee costs four, right? Um, it doesn't really, it doesn't, it doesn't seem to work out situationally because you're never, I guess maybe this is where the skill issue comes in. You're not really banking on when she dies unless you send her solo down one lane, say to meet an abomination. But then you're still spending six gold on a Banshee instead of four gold on a Banshee, which is why I still had Banshee in the deck. It's kind of a weird place to be. And with that six gold cost, it's hard to get really valuable minis around her, which is why I have sort of this low cost deck with her. Um, let's talk about the, the army I have with her. So I do have the uh, Whelp Eggs. I do have Flame Burst dealing with some melee characters there. Sorry, grounded units there. Will the Necropolis, I do like it when my Banshee is a full heal. Another reason why I don't really care for Sylvani's Banshee that much. Not just that it gets one shot, but that it doesn't heal. So you end up with like a five health unit. We got momentum on the Stone of Tor. And after connecting a charge, immediately charge a second time if possible. We got the safe pilot. I like coming in hot for PvP now. So it deploys twice as fast and burns nearby enemies. I do think the cloaking device vastly outscales the, uh, the coming in hot in PvE. Getting that extra free shot off is way better. Quailbor, dude, I was so wrong about Quailbor. We did a tier list. Quailbor, we had low. I, then I read the YouTube comments. Wow, I was so wrong. This character is amazing. Steal a quick chest. It does take two hits, but steal a quick chest. Take out enemy kobold right before they get uh, near a very big mine or turn enemies away. That's the biggest thing this, this Quailbor can do is if you have some squishy minis and they're heading towards some really strong, like, ranged AoE, whether it be a Pyroblaster, sorry, Pyromancer, uh, a, necro a necromancer, uh, ogre mage, dragon, whatever the case may be, you can drop a quail board directly behind that character, that enemy, and then it'll do a 180. So it'll turn around, and then your characters will actually get there in time instead of just immediately dying. They'll get to that unit, take them out, and then you won that exchange. So quail board definitely moving up. It's it might be an S tier character, but definitely it's high A tier. 
And then, yeah, speaking of the Pyromancer, I do have the Pyromancer with the Pyroblast uh, talent turned on. I think that's the best for her. I needed a cheap character that can deal, deal with aerial, especially um, squad aerial like the like the uh, Whelplings or the Harpies. Oh, also for Quailbor, by the way, I do have the Tunnel Vision. Make them pop up faster. Anyway, that's the army. Those are my concerns with Sylvanas. Just uh, cliff notes real quick. Costs too much. She's slow. She's squishy. Uh, it's hard to build an army around her. That Banshee dies. If the Banshee doesn't die, I normally take somebody who's who's half dead. That's my criticisms of her. Let me know about your criticism in the comment section below. But for now, let's go do a couple fights. All right, so here we are in the PvP section. We are at currently 1660 uh, honor rating. So we're going to get in here. It is going to be balanced, and it needs to be balanced. I guess I should add another criticism. I really think if they're going to release leader pieces, they should make that coincide with that family's dungeon to be happening then and there. Otherwise, we can't really use them in PvE, which is what I kind of prefer. If, of course, we get a Barrier of Rivendare, who's going to be way better than uh, Sylvanas, in my opinion. This might be a problem. Uh, but yeah, the dungeons should be available so I can quickly build up that army's pieces, those slots, and be able to tackle the uh, the PvE stuff as well, right? It kind of takes the fun out of a leader, and we can't immediately build them up. All right, I'm going to start by send sending Sylvanas down the middle. Uh, that save pilot was wasted by him. I'll go ahead and take it out, and we'll get that gold. Uh, I don't really feel the need. Let's send the quail boar here. We'll try and deny the gold. Oh, wow. The Warsong Raider is so strong. Who has a Warsong Raider in their Baron River Dirt deck? So awkward. Let's steal it. All right. It's full health now. We did lose it, which is unfortunate. Oh, the extra range. We can almost one shot. Nope. He kind of misplayed his thing a little bit. Not too much. Hopefully those chests respawn, like, right now. They should be near respawning. There we go. There were quail boar before. Ah, I was hoping I got that quail boar in before it happened. That's okay. Let's let our gold kind of respawn a little bit. We'll go ahead and banshee that. I'll try... Ugh. Ugh, here we go. Ugh! No, the Abomination. That's another thing. I love the Abomination piece, but you can't really use it with her because the price is just... It's absurd that it costs six. I'm sorry. I To me, it's absurd that she costs six for what she does. She's very easily countered. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comment section below. Am I so off base with disliking that cost? Nice. We got it. Okay, great. I was a little bit worried there that we weren't going to steal it in time. Now, we are going to have problems here. I don't have a Banshee available. I do have the Pyromancer. We'll try and save this tower. We did save the tower. And that, that Fury is going to rip them apart. Let's try and see if we can't bait the Fury away. And then we'll try and send our Stone Hoof Torin down the middle here. Get those chests pinged from side to side. Best we could hope for. Let's try to keep pushing that gold advantage if we can. He's on the tower. Let's see if we can get some extra damage on it. Throw a quail boar so the quail boar tanks the tower next. I'll throw some eggs over here in case he tries to summon something on the left side. And it does seem like we're going to pull this one off. I, I don't feel like we had any business pulling it off. And definitely, I think you guys would agree with me, Savannah's had nothing to do with us winning that. That was a really good Banshee stealing the Abomination. That was good gold priority. That was the Stonehoof Torrent doing their thing. That was good safety pilots doing their thing. Sylvanas, if nothing else, was a detriment there because she cost me six gold out the gate. Let me know if I'm wrong there. Let's do one more. Let's see how this goes. Hopefully it's not another Baron Rivendare because I hate facing that guy. He's so broken. Definitely the best undead mini. I have a hard time believing that Sylvanas, even with the Black Arrow, will be better than Rivendare, even in PvE. And it's another, it's another Baron Rivendare, of course. Everyone's playing this gosh darn character. Let's do that. I guess we'll summon Sylvanas. Let's summon these Whelplings right here. Uh, we'll summon the Torin, and then I'll summon... Yeah, that Abomination is going to kill my Sylvanas. There's not much I can do about that. See, she costs six, but she's so problematic. 
And, okay, the Abomination survived, but look, the Abomination is also already dead. That's, that's the big problem with that baseline Banshee uh, pick, in my opinion. Here, I want to I wanna try and get my... My guy, my Duber Dauber, my Kobold. Sorry, it's hard to play the game and focus on talking at the same time. I want to get my Kobold to that three gold piece. There we go. The Pyromancer will protect him. I also need to get over here to this chest. I'll spend the two gold to get it. Let's throw in some of these guys. Pyromancer, you can go out now. Perfect. Look at that Torn Charger. Like, I, I can't, I can't, I can't justify the six gold cost. When I see, like, the Torrin at four doing all the work here for this deck to work out. I think we're getting very lucky that our opponents are have these kind of weird mishmatch Baron Rivendare decks instead of the standard, like, Quail Boar, take your tower, uh, and immediately start pushing that advantage. Let's keep pushing up here. Let's get that gold chest. He also has his arrow turned, apparently, to start going down that left side. We're still just pushing quite a good advantage here. Yeah, I think we got this B2. But again, guys, this is not Sylvanas. This is just me outplaying some probably newer players. I'm very interested to know what your opinions are on Sylvanas, what you've seen, what you've heard, what you've seen from other content creators. Uh, maybe your, your personal experience if you bought her. I definitely regret buy, buying her. You could have got her for free. I think she's subpar. And that brings me to like maybe what's her actual intended use maybe she's like the first support leader i never i never thought about that so someone in twitch chat brought that up maybe she is the first support character because we're going to be having modes that are 2v2 uh i think it was raids it might have been pvp so if she's usable in 2v2 and i can summon my sylvanas and it can help my my partner make use out of that speed, sending but somebody run by her, uh, getting that fury maybe, maybe getting a banshee off of some something else. I could see that being very valuable. So I, I look forward to that 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 sort of a play style because maybe that's where she'll shine. Anyways, I'm not gonna do this because I, I feel like this is gonna be pushing my luck now. Let me know what you guys are thinking in the comment sections below when it comes to Sylvanas Windrunner, her release everything about her let me know what you guys are feeling and i'll see you guys in the next one hopefully i win this one against another baron rivender bye for now that's it for the video guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure you like share and subscribe stay happy healthy have fun and i'll see you in the next one